What's up guys, it's D Brown with Trackheads. I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Trackheads. Today we're going to be discussing Mr. Noah Lyles and what makes him the fastest American 200 meter runner um, ever. You know, he just broke the American record um, at the World Championships that were held in Oregon. Um, super crazy race, super fantastic race. Um, I had a big uh, prediction that he was going to get very close to it. If not very close, then like 19.4, 19.5. But, I mean, he blew me away running that 19.3.1. And I would like to discuss what makes Noah Lau so fast, so talented. Um, what makes him uh, probably the next world record holder in the 200-meter dash. Um, he's been saying it for a couple of years. But now we're really starting to see him put um, put the, you know, put his words into fruition. Um, the biggest thing I like to point out between last year and this year is if you look at Noah Lyles this year, his stride looks way more open than it was in years past. Um, Noah Lyles was very notorious for very rhythmic um, turnover, especially in the final stages of the 200 where most uh, athletes break down. He was able to maintain his turnover. But one of the big things that I've been able to see um, is that when he comes off the turn, and you can you know revert back to other videos of him over the years, when he comes off of the turn, um, usually you know he someone else might be leading, um, and basically his turnover doesn't slow down, and, and he's able to take advantage of the fact that they're in a state of fatigue and he's not, um, and usually he's able to power through to the finish. If you ever look at him, even in like some of the 100s that he ran, where he PR'd and ran 19.9s and 19.8s, um, he never was a really big, uh, his, his race model doesn't account for the, he's not very good at accelerating, okay? He's not very good at accelerating, not like Christian Coleman, not like Trayvon Bramell, not like Marvin Bracey. His skill is that he's able to get to top end speed and hold it for a long period of time, um, it's despite being in fatigue. Um, um, I think it's also worth noting that he didn't run many 100s this year. Um, I think the fastest 100 that he ran was like 9.99 or even like 10 flat. He ran a couple 100s at the beginning of the year in poor conditions. But one of the things that makes uh, Noah Lau so uh, such a great athlete is the fact that, number one, his turnover does not slow down. If you look at any of the races that he was in, um, his turnover just does not slow down. He sets a race model. He sets a race plan. And even if he's not leading off of the curve, um, he's able to maintain that turnover and um, his force application, and he's able to maintain that all the way through the finish line, um, which is really, really incredible. Um, I mean, the only – really, that's what makes a 200-meter runner very successful. If you look at Johan Blake when he ran his 19.26, he went into top-end speed and did not relinquish his uh, turnover, did not relinquish his position. Um and he was able to run straight through the line. There was no sense of fatigue. His speed endurance was just out of this world. If you look at Abby Steiner the same way, you know, when they hit their top end speed, they may not be leading, but that's not their strength. Their strength is not to accelerate um, the fastest. Their their skill and their talent is to, um, is to push their way out the blocks, gradually get to top end speed. And when they get to top end speed, they're able to hover at that 98 to 97 percent um longer than anyone else and hold that top end speed um no allows is the same way even if you go as far back as michael johnson i said as far back but you know if you look at michael johnson the way that he ran his 200 it was the same exact way you know he wasn't um he was always usually the first out the uh off the curve but even if he wasn't his skill was the fact that when other people hit their stages of fatigue, he was able to take advantage of that. And in the final stages of his race, in the last 50, the last um, 80, he was able to turn over um, and even hit another gear. In, in most cases, depending on his fitness, he was able to turn over and really do damage. That's what I think that final stage for Noah Lyles is. Um, that's what a, one of, also a stage that I think Usain Bolt was not able to tap into. Usain Bolt was very fast. He was able to, you know, run that 19.19. But even though Usain Bolt was able to hit that top end speed, I don't think he displayed the same kind of speed endurance um, and rhythm that he could have in order to run 19 or, excuse me, 
um, and, and things of that nature. And you can really tell someone's speed endurance by looking at their 100, doubling it, and if they can run their 200 um, within that doubling, uh, like for example, Abby Steiner's PR this year was a 10.92. So if you multiply that by two, that's a 21.8. Her PR is a 21.7. That means her speed endurance is within the realm of, you know, pretty elite. Um, if you look at Noah Lyles, his PR is about like nine, 9.8 seconds. He never ran 9.7. If you double that, that's a 19.6. He went 19.3. That means his speed endurance is pretty ridiculous. Um, Usain Bolt's PR is a 9.58. You double that, that's a 19.16, right? His PR is a 19.19, I believe. So, um, I think if he had supreme speed endurance, then he would have been able to get that to 18.9. Now, mind you, these are like still ridiculous times, but something to really consider about how talented Noah allows is he probably has the fastest 100 and 200 uh, combination in terms of like not having that fast of a 100 in comparison to his 200. I'm really curious to see what his 400 will be like, but... Um, I'm going to keep the video at this, guys. That's what I, uh, the reason why I think Noah Lyles is um, having such a tremendous year. He has truly mastered the art of holding his speed um, and turnover um, and top-end speed longer than anyone else. So um, thank you guys for watching. This is D. Brown with Trackheads. Uh, let me know in the comments section uh, which who you want me to go over next and um, if you have any comments about this video. Peace.